Hello, I'm Luke Westway for CNET. We're here at CES in Las Vegas taking a look at the Lenovo Mobile Touch Monitor. So this gadget might look like a tablet, but in fact there's no processing power going on inside. It's only a monitor and it connects to a laptop or desktop over Wi-Fi. The monitor measures 13.3 inches on the diagonal and it has a resolution of 1600 by 900 pixels. My first impressions are that it doesn't look as amazing as some other tablet displays I've seen, but we'll need more time with it to really see how easy on the eye it actually is. The fact that it's quite compact means it should be easy to carry around with you all day, but it's not the slimmest device I've ever seen. If you spin it on its side, you can see it's a little bit chunky. If prodding the screen with your meaty digits is too imprecise for your needs, then you might want to check out this optional stylus, which plugs into the corner here. This is a Wacom stylus, and it has 256 levels of sensitivity. If you're carrying this thing around with you all day, then you don't really want to get it all scratched up and looking horrible. So Lenovo's got these two cover options. There's a hard cover and an Apple smart cover style folding affair. If you want to make this monitor stand up, then there's a small kickstand on the back. And I'm told with a hard cover case, there's also another kickstand thing that you can use to prop it up at a more uh, steep angle. If you're using the soft cover case, then just like the iPad, it folds up into a triangle and it rests on that for support. It's quite convenient to use, but it does mean you don't get much choice when it comes to the angle that the monitor's standing at. Another downside is that this monitor only works with Windows 8 devices. That means no iPad, no Nexus 7, and no older Windows kit. It's going to come in wireless and wired versions, though I'm told the wireless edition will still connect via a cable as long as you're using USB 3. The wired version is going to be out in the first few months of 2013, but you'll have to wait until June for the wireless version, and let's face it, that's the one you really want. As for pricing, this thing isn't going to come cheap. It's going to be $349 for the wired version and $449 for the wireless one. It's certainly an interesting idea. Let us know if you think it will catch on. I'm Lou Westray for CNET, and that was the Lenovo Mobile Touch Monitor.